hello children today's uh, topic uh, is uh, indefinite and definite integrals in this uh, video we first uh, uh, discuss about the synapses and uh, later we shall see the problems so in indefinite integral integration is the inverse process or reverse process of differentiation and that is a process of finding a function whose differential coefficient is known as the integration let's see certain standard formulae that we had the x bar n integration x bar n plus 1 by n plus 1 plus constant integration constant n not equals to minus 1 1 by x integration log x e power x integration e power x plus c integral sin x integral a power x dx is a power x by log a plus c integral sin x dx is minus cos x plus c integral cos x is dx equal to sin x plus c integral secant square x dx is tan x plus c cosecant square x dx is minus cot x plus c and secant x tan x is secant x integral cosecant x cot x is minus cosecant x integral tan x is log mod secant integral cot x is log mod sin x integral secant x is log mod secant x plus tan x that can also be written as it is log mod secant tan pi by 4 plus x by 2 it is log mod tan so pi by 4 plus x by 2 plus constant at the same time integral cosecant x is equal to minus logarithm of cosecant x plus cot x or log mod cosecant x minus cot x plus constant or that can also be written as log mod tan x by 2 plus constant integral 1 by root over root of 1 minus x square is sin inverse x plus c or minus cos inverse x plus constant integral 1 by 1 plus x square is a tan inverse x plus c or minus cot inverse x plus constant and the integral 1 by x root over x square minus 1 is a secant inverse x plus c or minus cosecant inverse x plus c of course, integral constant is a kx plus constant. And rule of integration. Integral a constant multiplied by f of x is a constant. You can take it out and you can write down. And integral of the sum of the functions is nothing but the sum of the integrals. Integration by substitution. And if you have integral f of g of x into g of s, g dash of x, you can make a substitution g of x is equal to t so that uh, g dash x dx is nothing but uh, so dt that can also be written as integral it is f of g of x multiply by differential of g of x so that answer is equals to f of g of x plus constant coming to integration <coughs> by substitution method of course <coughs> If you have f of x to the power of n into f dash of x. So f to the power of you remember the formula x power n then directly you can apply it. When a function and you find the derivative of the function you directly apply x power n formula. And the two specific important formula are f dash x by f of x dx is log mod f of x. f dash x by root f of x is 2 root f of x plus constant. Next rational functions integration standard formula integral 1 by a square plus x square is 1 by a tan inverse x by a plus c integral 1 by a square minus x square dx is 1 by 2a log mod a plus x by a minus x plus constant integral 1 by x square minus a square is equals to 1 by 2a log mod x minus a by x plus a plus constant integral 1 by root over a square minus x square is a sin inverse x by a plus constant or minus cos inverse x by a plus constant and integral 1 by root of a square plus x square is nothing but logarithm of x plus root over a square plus x square plus constant and integral 1 by root over x square minus a square is logarithm of x plus root of x square minus a square plus constant integral 1 by x root of 
x square minus a square is 1 by a cosecant inverse x by a or minus 1 by a cosecant inverse x by a plus constant. And of course, the continuation integral root over a square minus x square dx is equals to a square by 2 sin inverse of x by 2 root of a square minus x square plus a square by 2 sin inverse x by a plus constant. Root of x square plus a square is equal to x by 2 root over a square plus x square plus a square by 2 log of x plus root of a square plus x square. And root of x square minus a square integral dx is equal to x by root of x square minus a square minus a square by 2 logarithm of x plus root of x square minus a square plus c. And these are algebraic functions integral 1 by so, a square, ax square plus bx plus c integral 1 by a, ax square plus bx plus c root. So, whenever the functions are given to you, you try to make up in the form of ax square plus bx plus c in the three models of the form like uh, x square plus a square model or x square minus a square model or a square minus x square model. Either one of these form, you just convert and then you can apply the formula, you will be getting a required answer. Next, integration by parts. Whenever you find that the product functions, how do you integrate it? Then it is uh, integration by parts is nothing but actually the first function into integral of the second function minus derivative of the first function multiplied by integral of the second function. Okay, Coming to the next one, this while applying uh, the integration by parts, which is the first function, which is the second function, u or v, which one is the function. That can be identified by the formula that is called i late. i late means nothing but the inverse, logarithmic, algebraic, trigonometric and exponential function. In this particular order, the way in which you are representing i late, that uh, to be given a preference as a first function and the second function. And there are certain standard of results which you need to remember. e power x into f of x plus f dash x is equals to e power x plus constant. And sin a x cos a x is equals to sin 2 a x divided by 2 a plus constant. And of course, this is one more uh, formula. You will be getting it. Uh, so, a d minus b is so simplifying. You will be getting a required answer. I hope I will be getting. It is not necessary. I hope this is there is a difference over here. Do not take up this. Let's consider d by dx. This also doesn't require much. So, let us proceed to other results. In case of uh, indefinite uh, integrals, uh, there are some more uh, important things which you need to remember the things. Okay. If you have integral like this, uh, integral of a cos x plus b sin x, a cos x plus b sin x divided by c cos x plus d sin x, d sin x dx. Whenever you find the integral of this form, then you can apply directly the formula as like this one. It is a c plus, uh, yeah, it is a c plus b d divided by c square plus d square multiplied by x plus a d minus b c a d minus b c divided by c square plus d square into logarithm of denominator. This is actually the denominator, the whole thing. So, denominator plus constant. Okay. That's how we represent uh, the integral. At the same time, whenever you find integration by parts, say if you have integral x multiply by f dash of x dx, and that will be given it as x by parts when you use x multiply by f of x minus integral x derivative to 1 f, f of x dx. So, I can able to say we from this one we derive the two conditions. So, one condition is nothing but integral f of x dx for which the direct integration is non, no, not known to us. We can use this concept x multiply by f of x minus uh, integral x into f dash of x dx. We can use this concept to get uh, the values like uh, inverse trigonometric functions, logarithmic functions directly don't have integration. You can use this formula. And at the same time, integral f of x 
plus this you bring it left hand side will be getting uh, you can write it as a x multiply by f dash x dx this also will gives us answer x multiply by f of x so therefore the same formula can be represented in two different fashions um, these two results are most important for us to simplify the integrals okay let us see that so let us proceed now the definite integration concepts we know that whenever you find f of x is a function when f of x is a function defined in the closed interval a comma b then integral a to b f of x dx means the capital f of b minus f of a where capital f of x is nothing but integral f of x dx is equals to capital f of x plus constant if the indefinite integral of f of x dx is f of x plus constant then integral a to b f of x dx is f b minus f a f of b minus f of a of course this is a substitution method and when you substitute x is equals to phi of t the limits also a to b when x varies from a to b then uh, this t varies from phi inverse of a to phi inverse of b multiply by phi dash of t into dt let's proceed to the next uh, most important uh, properties of a uh, definite integral that you know one best uh, one important property is nothing but integral a to a f of x dx uh, will always be is equal to zero lower limit and upper limits both are same the integral value is equals to zero at the same time the variable of integral is always a dummy variable it means whether you integrate with respect to x or with respect to t or with respect to y is not a matter so therefore whenever the integral having the limits so therefore a to b f of x dx is same as a to b f of t dt at the same time if you interchange the limits a to b f of x dx is nothing but minus b to a f of x dx and for any point in between the values of a uh, interval a comma b then integral a to b f of x dx can be split into two integrals a to c f of x dx plus c to b f of x dx and one more property integral 0 to a f of x dx is integral 0 to a f of a a minus x dx same extension formula a to b f of x dx is equals to a to b f of a plus b minus x dx and coming to the next one the property integral minus a to a f of x dx is twice integral 0 to a the total interval minus a to a split into two parts minus a to 0 and 0 to a if it is an even function you can write it twice the 0 to a f of x dx if it is odd function it is equal to 0 odd function if it is equal to 0 same is the case in this case now the next one integral 0 to a f of x dx is equal to is nothing but the total interval 0 to a can be split into 0 to a by 2 a by 2 to a and if the function satisfies the condition f of a minus x is plus f of x then it can be written as 0 to a by 2 twice f of x dx and if it is f of a minus x is minus f of x this will be equals to 0 equals to 0 coming to periodic function if f of x is a periodic function with the period is equals a then 0 to n a f of x dx is n times 0 to a f of x dx 0 to a f of x dx do not take up the second one you just take up only this one and will be useful for us to do it if f of x is an odd function 0 to a i mean phi of x equals a to x phi of t is an even function okay that means whenever the function is an odd function its integration will be the even function and the next one differentiation under integral sign this is called actually Leibniz theorem let's see that one how do you find the derivative integral g of x to h of x f of t dt is nothing but the value of the function at upper limit multiply by the derivative of our limit minus the value of the function at lower limit multiply by 
the derivative of the lower limit term. That's called the derivative. So d by dx of integral f of x, g of x to h of x dx. I repeat once again, the value of the function at upper limit into derivative of upper limit minus the value of this integrand at lower limit multiply by the derivative of the lower limit term. This is called a, so Leibniz theorem. This is nothing but derivative of the integral sign. And these are some standard result. 0 to pi by 2 log sin x dx is same as log cos x. That is minus pi by 2 log 2. And 0 to pi by 2 secant log secant x log cosecant x is plus pi by 2 log 2. Whereas 0 to pi by 2 log tan x and log cot x will be 0. 0 to a dx by root over a square minus x square is equals to pi by 2 and log tan x or log cot x is equal to 0 and 0 to pi by 4 this one is not pi by 2 0 to pi by 4 logarithm of 1 plus tan x dx is pi by 8 log 2 0 to pi by 4 log of 1 plus tan x dx is pi by 8 log 2 and these are certain other standard formulae integral a to b x minus a by b minus x dx is pi by 2 into b minus a integral a to b under root dx divided by root of x minus a b minus x is equals to pi where b is greater than a and 0 to 1 x into 1 minus x to the power of n when you apply 0 to a f of x dx is 0 to a f of a minus x formula when you apply you will be getting 1 by n plus 1 into n plus 2. Of course, these are all the formula we can have a derivation of this one. But this is the most important one. a to b f of x by f of x plus f of a plus b minus x dx equals to b minus upper limit minus lower limit by 2. And this also upper limit minus lower limit by 2. These two are most important results which requires while well, doing the problem, you can directly answer it. Okay. So therefore, these are the important uh, formulae so you need to remember and then uh, we apply the formulae to work out the sums. Okay, We shall continue uh, this uh, lecture in the next video with the problems. Right? Thank you.